Hi guys, my name is Maggie, also known as Crochet by Mags, and I will be giving you a tutorial on how I made this flower top today. So yeah, let me know if you have questions and I hope you enjoy. So first things first, this is everything that you are going to need. I am using a 2.25 millimeter crochet hook and some fine cotton blended yarn. I recommend using cotton or a cotton blend, but you could really use whatever yarn you want to. All right, so we're gonna get right into how to crochet this flower motif. First, you are going to start out with a slip knot, which is what I'm doing here, and then you are going to chain four, and this is going to make the center of the flower. After you chain four, you insert your hook into the first chain to form a little circle, which is what you're going to be working into. So then we are going to chain three, and this acts as your first double crochet. And we are going to do one more double crochet into the center there of those four chains. And then you're going to chain six. And this is going to act as your first petal of the flower. After you chain six, you're going to do three double crochets into that center loop of four chains there. And you're essentially going to repeat this five more times to create those six petals of the flower. So I'm going to do that here and you could watch along if you'd like, or you could skip ahead to the next row. So the last thing to note as we're finishing this sixth petal is you're going to end with another double crochet and slip stitch into that first chain of three that we did. So this is acts as like the third of the three double crochets we did for the rest of the flower. So now moving on to the second row of this flower you are going to start off by chaining one and then doing one single crochet and one half double crochet. Here's me struggling. And then seven 
double crochets into this loop here. And once you're done with seven double crochets, you're going to do a half double crochet like so and then a single crochet and then chain one and then you slip stitch into the second double crochet in that group of three like i did there and this pattern you repeat for all of the petals of the flowers um, feel free to follow along or you could go back and watch how i did it the first time for my visual learners out there, I'm going to keep this entire clip of me making the whole flower, but it's the same pattern for all the petals, so if you'd like to skip ahead and go to the next step, feel free to do so. Alright, so my pro tip here is to weave in your ends as you go. Trust me, you do not want to be doing it at the end. Um, but all I'm going to do is 
take a sewing needle and weave it through some of the stitches um, a couple times and then cut off the remaining string. So that's my method. I know people have different methods, but this has seemed to work pretty well for me. So yeah, here is watching me struggle, but you know, I'm gonna keep it real in this video, so. All right, moving on to connecting the flowers. We are going to connect the flowers at two points on this first row. So what I'm gonna do is go halfway up the petal here. So if we're following the pattern, you will do four double crochets instead of seven because that fourth is like the halfway point. And then we are going to use a slip stitch method to connect the flowers to each other. So here I finished the fourth double crochet. I'm going to take my hook out and find the midpoint of my finished flower. You could count the seven double crochets if you want and find the middle one, but I just guess because it's faster that way. But you just insert your hook and pull that string through like I'm doing here and then continue the pattern with your final three double crochets, your half double crochet, and your single crochet. And then we are doing two connection points, so you will do the same thing for the next petal here. So yeah, if you'd like to keep watching and see how I connect the second petal, you'll kind of get an idea of how they look like connected for this row. After connecting at these two points, you continue to finish the flower as normal and you will do the same process for the entire row. Alright, so here I am making my last flower for the row. Um, you just want to make sure to connect both ends on the flower for your last one because you have like two sides to connect to. So that's what I'm doing here and once you do that it'll form like a circle which will be like the bottom base of the top. All right, and here is what the finished first row looks like. To make another row, there's just a couple more points that you need to connect to, so it's these four points here, um, but you just continue to do that for however many rows you'd like to. And then once it's the length that you want, in the next step we're going to form like the bra shape part of it. So once you're done with that second row, um, this is where I started to form like the 
bra shape of the top. I already made one side just to show you what it looks like, but it's just like two flowers stacked on and then one to form like that triangle. But if you would like to watch along with how I did it at normal speed, feel free to watch or you could skip ahead.
All right, so home stretch here. All we gotta do is make the straps. I did a simple chain. If you want the exact number, I chained 80, but it's really up to you with how you want your strap to look. So yeah, if you want to watch along, you could see how I connect it to the back of the top. But again, I always recommend to connect where it's comfortable for you. And if you're making a different size, it might be a different spot, so. So now it's basically pretty much done. You could add another row to the bottom if you would like to make it longer. But um, yeah, I'm gonna give you a little clip on how to block it. So I got quite a few comments from people on the flowers curling. And I know this is just due to how the pattern is, but this is what I've been doing to help try and flatten them out a little bit and shape the top better. So I soak this in my sink with a little bit of detergent. For like 20 minutes and then i like gently rolled it in a towel to make it just like damp and so now i'm just pinning and kind of manipulating the corners a little bit to shape it how i want and i let it dry for like a day so this really helped me but if anyone else has tips on how they got theirs to stop curling i am always open to feedback so yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope that it was easy to follow and if you do make it i would love to see it so make sure to tag me